All right, so today we are going to shade our practice paper airplane together. I have my HB pencil and my 2B drawing pencil. I'm going to start out with my HB and I will eventually switch to my 2B. So using the printout that we had in class, um, I like to start with my darkest value. So I'm going to start shading the inside of the paper airplane first and start to kind of block in where my dark values will go. And then if I switch to my 2B, that's whenever I'll be able to really build up the dark values to give myself a nice contrast. I'm gonna blend with the side of my pencil so that I get nice, smooth lines and they're not streaky. So I shade horizontally first and then go back over it in another direction to kind of get rid of any lines that would show. Now, if you look at the picture, it's just slightly lighter right here at the top of kind of this indent that you have. So as I move up here, I'm gonna know that this area is just slightly lighter. Right here. Once I have a good kind of base value, I'm going to move into the upper kind of inner fold of my paper airplane. And this has a different value. So it's a lot lighter right here and then moves darker as you get into the top middle of your paper airplane. So starting up here at the top, I know that I'm going to gradually get lighter as I move kind of to this corner. I'm not pressing very hard with my pencil. I'm holding my pencil back at the end to control my pressure. If you hold your pencil all the way up at the tip, um, you're gonna be pressing really hard and make dark marks. So I hold my pencil back at the end to control that pressure. In drawing, we do a lot of layering. You kind of start with a base layer and then go back and really build up your dark values. It's not just a one kind of pass over. You're always going back and building up those values. It looks a lot better than if you just press really hard the first time and don't come back. <laughs> 